Hey, welcome back to Mechanical Pros. I'm, I'm here with, with Patrick, with Riello, and we've been talking boilers. I'm excited to talk about the Riello RTC. They craft some really nice condensing boilers. Hey John, we, we built a hundred variants of this product in, in Volpago, Italy. And the, the thing that separates us from competition in the United States in this, in this duty, which is we're going to burn both natural gas as well as diesel. And we're going to condense natural gas, propane, and ultra low sulfur diesel where it is present. And you're gonna find the ultra low sulfur diesel in resilient applications because it's being burned for emissions control purposes in uh, emergency electrical generators, motor engine driven generators at places like hospitals and, and uh, critical resilient facilities. This variant that we bring to the US is the all stainless steel. All the surfaces that are exposed to combustion are stainless steel rather than some uh, effort to mix the metals be because condensing may not occur throughout the entire heat exchanger at all times. Some will do a carbon steel heat exchanger and then connect it to a stainless steel economizer. When you do that, you don't have confidence in the non-stainless steel portions of the heat exchanger and that, therefore those warranties on those products are five years. When you're an all stainless steel heat exchanger, you enjoy the, the same 10 year warranty provision that we find on all other condensing stainless steel heat exchangers in the marketplace. When you're all stainless steel, you don't care when or where you condense. And so we have no limitations on turndown in addition to the warranty. The burner equipment that we furnish to fire the RCC, which we give you the full range of operation of that burner. And so it'll be up to 10 to one turndown on natural gas and in some cases up to six to one turn down on oil. Uh, whereas if you have a mixed metals heat exchanger, you limit the turn down of the combustion system to five to one on gas and more critically, three to one on oil. Limited turn down is limiting efficiency because good consistent combustion, less of it in the same original heating surface area is more and more and more efficient, which is a good thing. Another fun uh, feature of this, of this platform is it is flow independent due to its natural circulation. And the cutaway is able to show you both the, the combustion and the water flow paths, but also you can get your head around, even though there are distinct heat exchanger or pressure vessels, they are connected um, on the water side so that water will circulate between this, this chamber and this chamber. What that allows us to do is under fire, under flow, combustion is going this way. And the water, regardless of which connection it comes in, is going to end up running counter to the combustion process. So it ends up being a counter current heat transfer. If you interrupt the flow while the product is under fire, the combustion system stops and the temperatures equalize inside the vessel through natural circulation rather than the flow do this the flow ends up doing this it, the, the water hops on a effectively a thermal escalator so it does a it does a pattern like a, this inside the vessel if these were separated if these were separate vessels or if they weren't allowed to commute if they weren't allowed free communication as they are here that water wouldn't be able to circulate, it wouldn't equalize, and the hot water would get hotter and over temp. When it over temps, the stainless steel suffers a thermal cycle and will eventually fail. That cannot and does not happen with RTC. Tell me about uh, uh, the importance of flow independence and uh, ignition in boilers. Yeah, flow independence, John, speaks to the, the characteristic of the fire heat exchanger. Um, to suggest that we don't care what's happening with system flow. It doesn't matter what's going on, primary, secondary, available primary, whatever's going on, it cannot and will not hurt this heat exchanger. And so therefore it is flow independent. You will not see a minimum flow required for warranty purposes or heat exchanger life cycle on this product. The way that this product tackles flow independence is it is natural circulation. Try to fire it without flow, it will shut off and it will sort itself out and never over temp, never thermal cycle, never thermal stress. It cannot fail due to flow issues. And that it, that makes this flow independent. That's a big deal. Big deal. It seems like one of the most flexible 
condensing boilers I've, I've ever seen. We talked about dual fuel, talking about what condensing uh, oil would be yeah. like in this. In, in this situation, John, we have, we have a clearly fired heat exchanger with the RTC, with the, with the all stainless steel heat exchanger, looking for some combustion to convert the potential energy of fuel into a working fluid, in this case, hydronic hot water. It, the, the burner that we can match up to this heat exchanger can be gas, it can be propane, it could be methane or digester gas, it can be straight oil, or it could be a combination of any of those fuels. Ultra low sulfur diesel, like we find in resilient applications, as we find at hospitals for engine generators, at prisons for engine generators, that ultra low sulfur concentration of 15 parts per million or less affords us the opportunity to condense that in the stainless steel and not threaten the integrity of, that, of those metal surfaces. You could apply this heat exchanger, the RTC, with a straight oil burner with ultra low sulfur diesel in a condenser water loop, and it could just condense all through the heat exchanger all the time, and it would make no difference to us. We build these from 1 million BTU input dual fuel up to 10 million BTUs in, in a couple of few different configurations. This is impressive and uh, I'm really excited to see this thing out there and uh, heating up some, some water. So. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. Thanks for joining us on Mechanical Pros and, uh, and we'll catch you again soon. Thanks.